Hi there and welcome into this tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching how you can create proximity mines. So proximity mines, I just approach it, it explodes, it deals damages and it disappears. Just like this. So that's what we're going to be creating in this video. In order to create this proximity mine, I'm going to be using a third person template, but it doesn't really matter if you're using the first person or the third person one. And I'm going to be using the starter content because I'm going to be getting the explosion effect from that as well. So, uh, for to create this proximity mine, the first thing that you need to do is to actually create a mine. So go to our content folder, right click, select blueprint class, then select actor, and then bp underscore mine. Open this up. Uh, this is going to be our mine here in our viewport, in our, actually in our components, I'm going to be adding a component. Uh, you can either add a static mesh if you already, has, already have a mesh for your mine, but in my case I'm going to be using a simple cube because I just want some visual representation. And uh, if you go to our word and I place this down, you're going to notice that this is actually too big. I don't want it to be that big, so I'm going to be decreasing this a bit. Actually, I'm going to be scaling down over here. So let's drive 0 0.1, 0 0.1, and then 0 0.1. Uh, actually, I'm going to increase this a bit here. Yeah, that should be good. Compile, save it. Let's place this in our world like that. So this is our proximity mine. Basically, what I want this to do is that once I hit, I have collision with this mine, it's going to explode then it's going to do damage against our character and then the mine is going to destroy itself that's basically what i want to do that here in our event grab the first thing is that if our cube selected i'm going to get on component hit at on component hit event and then from here i don't want the explosion to happen right away i want a small delay it's not a lot but something like 0.2 seconds should be good and then from this I am going to expound a miter like that at location. And the effect that I'm going to be using, I can reach it in our content drawer, then start the content, then particles and explosion. Of course, you can use other effects for the explosion if you want, but in my case, I'm going to be using this one over here. So with this selected, I am going to select this and I'm going to place it right here in our emitter template. And for the location, I'm going to just get actor location. The target is going to be for self and the vector value into our location. Just like that. So now compile it, save it. Let's test this in our world. So now should have this explosion. And as you can see, it exploded. But I think that's too small. So I'm going to be increasing the scale a bit. Let's say for five, maybe. Now let's try with six. Six and six. Let's take a look. Yeah, that's too much. I think I think four would be good. Let's take a look. The four. Compile it, save it. Let's take a look. Yeah, that's good for me. Uh it's up to you how big you want this to be, but I think for me that is good. And then the next thing that I want to do is to create the damage uh, the damage event to our character. There are multiple ways to set this up, but I'm going to be using the event any damage from uh, our uh, from the Unreal Engine. For that, first thing here, I'm going to create a custom event. In this custom event, I'm going to just select damage. And then here in our spawn matter, I'm going to just select this custom event that you have just created. And there are, I could just damage the actor that have collided with our, our mine. But the thing is, let's say if there is multiple actors around, it, they should be affected by the explosion as well. So instead, I'm going to be creating a sphere and seeing what is inside the sphere to deal damage against those actors. So for that, just get a sphere overlap actors like that uh about the position uh the position is going to be let's just get words actually over the location 
Uh, yeah, actually, let's just get extra location like that. Place this location into here. The radius is up to you. It depends how big you have made this. I think maybe in my case, maybe 62. Yeah, that should be good for me. The object type, I'm going to just make an array. Uh, in my case, it's going to be only for pound like that. That should be good. Then for our actors, I'm going to just get for each loop like that. And then I'm going to get event to any damage. Event any damage. Ah, actually not that one. I think the number of event was apply damage. Yeah, this one over here. So just place over here. The damage actor is going to be the array element like that. And the amount of damage is up to you. I think let's say 10 points of damage. Actually, let's say 20 points of damage. Yeah, that should be good. Now compile it, save it. Let's go into our BP third person. Uh, third person. Of course, this event of damage is something that we need to implement according to our logic. I'm going to just be creating a simple logic for this damage so that I have a variable for our health. This variable is going to be of the type float like that. And oops. And compile this. I think I'm going to have 100 points of health at the start. And then on the event any damage. What's going to happen is that I'm going to get our health. And then I'm going to subtract the amount of damage that I just received. And I'm going to be setting our new health like that. Since I don't have any widget to, to check our current health, I'm going to just be creating a print string over here. So just get print string. Then print our new amount of health like that. Yeah. That should be good. Compile this, save it. Now in our BP mine, it should apply that damage. Let's just take a look. So, um, yeah, I got a small problem. Uh, my client shut down, so I, I think I lost the mine over there. So I'm going to just replace it again. Yeah, that's good. So now actually a little bit up there. Yeah, like that, so that I can see it better. So if I approach this mine, it is going to explode and it's going to print a string saying that I lost 20 points of health and it's going to be actually showing the new value of health that I have in our left up corner. Like that, as you can see. And uh, now I am back into 20 points and into zero, like that. The next thing that I want to do is to make this mine to disappear after exploding. And to do that, after the event damage, I'm going to just get a delay. Let's say it is a delay of something like 0 0.6 seconds. Uh, and then actually let's try with 0 0.8. And then I'm going to just get destroy actor. Like that. Compile it, save it. Let's take a look. Yeah, that's good. Uh, 0 0.8 was too much. Let's try with 0 0.4. Yeah, that's good. So this is our proximity mine. Thanks a lot for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Visit train.memetinteract.com and enroll in this course to get all source files. Use coupon code MEMETY to enroll for free.